This PCB is a voltage measuring device with a relay output. You can choose yourself when the relay should activate and deactivate within watt voltage upper and lower. It has got five functions. The first function is this one. You can just use it as a voltage meter to show just what comes in on the input. The input or from the input that we are going to measure is the two screw terminals here in the bottom, the one called V plus and, and V minus. The two other screw, ter screw terminals here in the upper corner is the 12 volt input DC plus and minus. Of course the relay will just be normally open, common and normally closed. Uh, you can switch on the display by just clicking the set button once, like this. So when you, once you're finished with your programming and you don't want to use extra current for the display, you can just switch it off like that. To enter the programming, if I want to select function number two, um, then I have to hold down the set button. I then can switch uh, to the first voltage, the second voltage, and if you want to adjust the voltage meter inside the unit. It's uh, program number three. But uh, if I just click once extra at the set button here, I select my uh, my third option, which was the one I was in at the present, and that's the voltage volt meter. And I can here change the settings by just clicking plus and minus. Um, if I want to um, to set the function, I will just enter the menu again by pressing set. I'm now in program zero, which is inactive. I click once on set, and now it is, as you can see, in function number one. I can change the function by clicking plus or minus. Uh, let's make a test on uh, function number two. Okay. Now we haven't set the the voltage parameters of what to act when the relay have to activate and then when it have to to deactivate. So I'll just do that. It it will switch to uh, P1, which is the first settings. I will click here once, and that the first voltage is 10 volts. And if I click number two, P2. There we are. It's the switch button I have to press. Program number two or voltage number two. That's 12 volts. So I have to do something with the relay within 10 volt and 12 volts. What the relay will do, that's up to the function to decide. But as it is now, it is set to function number two. And let's look at the relay. I'm currently at 4.3 volts. If I go up to uh, 10 volts, then you can see nothing will happen. But when it reaches 12 volts, then the relay will be inactive. As soon as I then turn it down, nothing will happen when I go from 12 to 11 volts. Nothing, because what I'm saying is that the relay should be active or inactive when I reach 12 volts and the only when the relay uh, the only reason why the relay should activate again is by hitting 10 volts let's try and see if it works exactly so i can now adjust it past 10 volts and only at 12 volts the relay will deactivate okay that was my function number true um, click once, click function number three, and when I have function number three, I can then leave the menu by holding the button down, and you can see we are still at 12.3 volts, but now instead of being inactive, it will, act, it will become active instead. So 
I will only turn off the relay when I'm getting less than 10 volts right about now. So function 2 and 3 is just opposite of each other. Let's go and check number 4. Function number 4. I'll leave the menu by holding it down. So now the relay is act inactive. I am below 10 volts. When I reach this 10 volt it will activate. When I get past 12 volts the relay will be inactive. So as you can see within 10 and 12 volts the relay will become active. So if you want to measure something very distinct between 3 and 5 volts you can have a relay output to activate only in this 2 voltage range. Now let's just for fun's sake take the last function that was number 5 and of course that's just the opposite of relay number or function number 4. So I adjust it to 10 volt and the relay will become inactive and more than 12 volt it will become active again. Okay, I leave the menu, enter the menu, leave the menu, switch off. So, that is, of course I don't need the LED here, but the blue LED will indicate there's power to the unit, and the green LED will act indicate the relay active or not active. That's it for now. If you've got questions, just leave us a message or call us directly.